but, but I have used the analogy of a baseball card collection. If, as a kid, you may have collected baseball cards and had a shoebox full of them, but you lost interest in it and went off and started driving and dating and other things, this, that, or the other, and years passed. And all of a sudden, you hear a story about somebody that had a Mickey Mantle baseball card that sold for $1,000, and you think, I swear I think I had a Mickey Mantle card. So you go back to your mom and daddy's house and go up in the attic, find the shoebox full of cards, and look at and say, wow, it's still here. So it was with downtown Macon. When, they, when we were mauled, uh, not M-A-U-L-E-D, but M-A-L-L-E-D in the mid-1970s, and the four anchor stores moved out of downtown to the new Macon Mall, it sucked the lifeblood out of downtown so that there was not enough economic activity to even warrant tearing anything down. So it sat there. And while it decayed and dilapidated a little bit, it was still there. When all of a sudden we realized, hey, like a baseball card, we've got one of those. It's still here. And it's more valuable now than anybody ever dreamed. This is the unique sense of place this downtown that is so unique, so beautiful, it attracts movie sets, it, it, it attracts people, it attracts millennials that want to live in lofts above that was formerly commercial space and go to a, a, a brew pub downstairs and have craft beer. So yes, it's been a wonderful thing, Frank, it really has. Biggest challenges. 